Hey guys, this is Frost and welcome to my tutorial on how to do surf fruits. In this video I'm gonna be showing you the easiest way to surf this map. At least it is the easiest way in my opinion. If you have a problem just on a specific stage, you can skip to this stage by using the following links or the links in the description. Okay, let's go! first stage is the banana stage and it's pretty simple and pretty easy. I'm just gonna show you the way I do it first and explain it later. There isn't much to talk about on this stage. The thing I'm trying to do is I try to leave the ramp as low as possible so I can minimize the distance I have to travel. So the second stage is the cherry stage. Um, again I'm just gonna play it for you. This is a pretty simple stage as well. I'm trying to go as fast as possible by going as slow as possible on that ramp and then flicking it really smoothly to maintain my speed. Okay, the third stage, the lemon stage, is a bit harder and it's really hard even for me to get it consistently. Again, I'm just gonna show you how I do it. My tip for the lemon stage is that you're trying to aim for the hole right here. In that way you can do the 180 pretty easy without hitting anything. This stage is a really tough stage for getting it consistently. The way I surf it is definitely not the fastest one, but it's the easiest one for me to get it as consistent as possible. Welcome to the next stage and again I'm gonna show you how I do it. The first tip is that you're trying to strafe into the hole and that way you're not losing any speed. Um, the second important thing is the right angle on this ramp right here. The way I've just shown you the, the stage can be pretty hard for someone who's new to surfing. So I'm gonna show you two other ways of surfing that stage. Okay, the strawberry stage. There are two ways to pass the platform. The most efficient way is to just fly over it directly. But if you don't have the right speed or the right angle, you can bunny hop it. And it doesn't really matter that much. The most annoying part of the stages are those in the walls. Um, if you don't have the right timing, you can use the wall to slow you down and make it anyways. Next stage, the Pineapple stage. The only 
good tip I can give you for this stage is that you, if, if you don't have any speed on the top of this elevator right here, you can still make it by just strafing around like this. You see, you're getting speed, you can just strafe around and do it anyways. Next stage is the apple stage. The only tip for this stage is that you should try to hit the bunny hop as low as possible. In that way you can enter the tunnel as low as possible and you're not hitting your head. Kiwi stage. Kiwi stage. It's pretty simple. The important thing here is speed. There are some tips for this stage. Well, the first thing is this arrow right here. Um, it's actually it's boosting you a bit, at least. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna walk until the end, and right here, right here, you're gonna jump, and you get the maximum amount of speed of it. The second tip is for the third ramp, um, the line on this ramp should be slightly downwards so you're not losing that much speed and you are able to complete the gap to the next ramp. The jackfruit stage. The jackfruit stage is one of the hardest stages of surf fruits. So yeah, let's hop into it. My tip for this stage is that you try to hit the ceiling of the first hole, in that way you can surf the next ramp earlier and you're not losing that much time. Welcome to the last stage of surf roots. Um, it's watermelon. Pretty much the only tip I have for this stage would be to bunny hop to the last ramp and yeah, that's pretty much everything. Congratulations, you have officially completed Surf Roots. If you liked the video, please leave a like. 
subscribe for more videos. Um, if you have any questions left, just ask me in the comment section. And yeah, thank you for watching this video and peace.